Okay, so in this video clip, we're going to take a look at the Black Shoals uh, time value and graph it, uh, and we'll generate a parabola, and then we'll compare against the intrinsic value of the option using some Python code. So we've to load in some libraries for matplotlib uh, pyplot, um, and uh, we can invoke these to uh, generate a graph, which is useful. Um, uh, to say the least. So the starting point here might be you could take a look at the spreadsheet and um, you could uh, download it and I've already got a version um, open somewhere so I'll just share. Uh, it's this spreadsheet and what I've done here is using these parameter values stock price uh, of 100, exercise of 100, risk free rate of 5%, no dividend yield, time period of one year, and volatility 20%, we're able to generate for varying values of the underlying stock price. We generate this uh, black Scholes parabola, and initially the values are very low, close to zero, and then as we approach 100, it gets higher, and as we exceed 100, then it, increase, it increases at, uh, at a decreasing rate eventually. So, um, okay, so um, let's see how we can do the equivalent here in uh, Python. If you want to follow the video clip explaining this, you can just uh, click on the link and that will bring you through to uh, playlists. Okay, so I'm going to go back in. Uh, to Python uh, for a moment uh, to the Vinegar Hill portal and I'll just copy uh, the snippet of code that we have here and you might know we have the same range of uh, parameter values here. Okay, so we'll just copy and then um, we'll use a Jupyter Notebook to run. Right, so um, I should open up Anaconda um, and I'll just pause here for a moment while Anaconda is opening up. Okay, so we've opened up uh, the Anaconda Navigator. I'm going to go into the Jupyter Notebook. So we'll just launch, and that normally doesn't take so long. And okay, um, Let's, it brings us then into a, the Chrome browser. Uh, and uh, for my purposes, I'll go to OneDrive, I'll go to um, have a Python folder, and we'll create a new, new Python tree. And we'll give it a name. Um, it's uh, Python Black Shoals. Shoals uh, time value parabola. Right. Okay, so we'll rename the project and we'll just paste that code. And basically, what we have here is we import in a number of libraries uh, some graphing, some mathematical, and then we uh, introduce the Black Scholes um, model, right, uh, using uh, the, the standard uh, formula. Now, these were taken from Amber Lou, and that is the, uh, the pre preceding um, uh, snippet of code uh, was from Amber Lou. So basically, uh, we've copied that in, and then the parameter values are set, uh, but S, we've excluded. And then we create a loop which uh, tells us go from 10 to 200 for S. So S should be range from 10 to a maximum value of 200. And then there should be on a line space, there should be 20 points altogether. Uh, so we generate um, varying S. Okay, and then here at the end, I've included uh, print C and see is this uh, array value, uh, array of values for the Black Scholes um, parabola. So let's uh, 
shift and enter and run that and it takes a second and you can see we're getting output for C. And in addition, we're getting uh, the black Scholes parabola, which, which is we have here the time value. So these are the time values for uh, the black Scholes parabola. And then in addition, we have the intrinsic value and we can make uh, the comparison now, if the uh, dividend yield was 5%, uh, that typically would mean that over time, the value, the time value can fall below the intrinsic value. So if we run this again, exactly the same parameters, except make one change for the dividend yield, we'll find that the time value parabola can cut below the intrinsic value. If I increase that again to 10%, Right, and shift enter, we can see that becomes more extreme. And so uh, this uh, something that we might note when we're considering American options, although the Black Schultz model is only for European options, uh, it's noteworthy that when the dividend is equal to zero, uh, it's never optimal to exercise a call option early. So we get the parabola always exceeds the intrinsic value. However, if the, the uh, dividend exceeds uh, zero, it may be optimal to exercise the, uh, the call option. Okay, and uh, you might note here as well, we have a range of values for the call option. If I go back to uh, Q equal to zero, and run again, you'll notice that we have a value here of 1045 corresponding to when S is um, equal to 100. Okay, right, uh, I think that does that.